Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we are going to graph linear inequalities in two variables. That is, we're going to be graphing lines, shading one side or the other, and we're going to be doing it while utilizing an x and a y axis. It'll be almost like graphing. I mean, almost like graphing straight lines. All right, and in fact, that's what we do first. We have this inequality x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Well, to graph this, we need to graph the line first that forms the border of x plus y is less than or equal to 1. You'll see what I mean. But to do that, I have to graph x plus y equals 1. That's just a line. Well, this is so easy to graph with a table, I think I'll do that. If x is 0, y will be 1. If y is 0, x is 1. I'm going to come over here to the graph and graph those points. If x is 0, y is 1. If y is 0, x is 1. Now I'm going to graph a line through these points. And I've graphed what we call the boundary. Now, now that I'm done with the boundary, I am going to graph the inequality. To graph the inequality, I need to shade one side of the graph or the other. And here's how I find out which side. For the first thing I do is I choose a test point. Very first thing, choose test point. And the test point can be any point other than points on the line. Points. You cannot choose points on the boundary, and the boundary is a straight line. Okay, so I could choose any point. I could choose, see me putting little dashes in all over the place, little dots, rather. Um, my, my point could be any point. So if it could be any point, it might as well be an easy point. And by far, the easiest point to choose for a test point is 0, 0 at the very center. So I'm going to choose the point 0, 0. Now I cannot choose 0, 0 if a line goes through it. But this line does not go through it. This boundary does not go through it. So I can choose it. Now here's what I do with the test point. I let the x-coordinate substitute for x in the inequality and the y-coordinate of the test point substitute for the y in the inequality. And the reason 0, 0 is so easy is you just put a 0 in for the x and a 0 in for the y, and then you test and see if this gives you a true answer. Well, 0 plus 0 is 0. And so I get 0 is less than or equal to 1. We know it's not equal, but is it less than? Of course it is. 0 is less than 1. This is true. So 0, 0 gave me a true. And that means that every point on this side of the line will give me a true. And that is the side I shade. If you're working with a colored pencil, you could shade this pink or blue or green or any color that you might find interesting. And this is all there is to it. We're done. We have graphed a linear inequality in two variables. Now, let's look at the linear inequality in two variables below. Again, rather than changing this to y equals format, I'm going to use an x and a y table just because I'm a little lazy, don't tell anyone. And it's really easier to do that. For instance, if x is 0, 
y is going to be negative 8. And if y is 0, x will be 1. So I'm going to graph those points. Here is 0, negative 8, and here is 1, 0. Now I am going to draw a line between these points and coming out the other end, of course, because lines go on forever. However, I need to point something out. This is a strict inequality, and the first linear inequality in two variables we graphed was not a strict inequality. Ah, what's the difference? Well, up here, we graphed a solid line, but down here, we're going to graph a dashed line. So this is how I will graph the line. It's all because the inequality is a strict inequality. And there's our line, our dashed line. Now I need to choose a test point, okay? Now this is the boundary. It's a very permeable boundary because of the strict inequality. We would say that this boundary is not going to be included in the shading, whereas this boundary is included in the shading. All right, here we go. If I've got 8y minus, I mean 8x minus y is less than 8, strictly less than 8. And I choose the point 0, 0 because I can. A line doesn't go through it, so I can choose it. 0, 0 is going to be my test point. That means I'll have 8 times 0 minus 0 is less than 8. So 0 is less than 8. That's true. You never know if you're going to get a true or a false. If you get a false, you just shade on the other side of the line. But here, my 0, 0 gave me a true answer, so I'm going to shade on the true side. You always shade on the true side of the line. And okay, you're done. You have now graphed your second linear inequality in two variables. Next time, we're going to go on to some more complicated graphing. Talk to you later.